Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and this is the Sunlu filament connector. Now this little device will allow you to fuse two filaments together and make them as one. So what's the purpose of something like this? Why would you even need it? Well, I'm thinking about a real world scenario, something that I will go through, for example. So let's say that you have some spools of filament that you only got a little bit left and is really not enough to make anything useful. In a situation like this, normally what I would do is just put it off to the side, kind of forget about it, add it to the pile. Or maybe in this case, you would just throw it away, figuring that there's nothing more that you can do with it. But with this filament connector, I would be able to take one end of this red filament and one end of this blue filament and fuse them together so I'll have a little bit more to work with. And then on the plus side, I'll have a dual color roll of filament to work with. So I'm going to show you some of the practical uses for this filament connector here today. And I also want to thank Sun Lu for sending this over to me so I can show it to you. And from what I understand, this is supposed to be released near the middle of July and I don't know what the price is going to be yet but as soon as I find out I'll either put something on the screen so you can see it or I'll let you know down in the description what the price is going to be so let me show you everything that's going to come with this package should you choose to get it here's the box that it comes in and it's just really simple you get this filament connector here and then you also get a power source which one end is USB a and then the other end is just one of those little circular adapters that you plug into the back but you're are going to have to provide your own power brick in order to plug it into the wall and then you get a bag of all of these plastic little connector pieces and then a little sheet of instructions that's all that came inside of this box so it's really simple to operate let me show you exactly how you would do that all right so let's turn this thing on it is a touch screen and you can see down at the bottom, it is currently heating up. It's at 97 degrees Celsius and it's trying to get up to 185 degrees Celsius in order to fuse PLA together. But you can also fuse other filament types as well. I can push this button here, PLA starts to flash. I push the down arrow and then we have PCL, we have PA, PETG, ABS, and then back to PLA and they all have their own preset temperatures that you can use. So we're just going to stick with PLA for now and we're going to wait for it to get up to 185 degrees. So I'm going to start with this orange filament here and the first thing that I'm going to do is cut it at an angle kind of like this here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the white filament. So I'm just going to make sure I just kind of cut it at a bit of an angle. This will create more surface area for the filaments to connect to each other. Then I'm going to take one of these plastic connector pieces and I'm going to put the filament inside of here. So one end goes in there, the other end goes in here. And I want to make sure that in the middle portion that they are aligned to each other so that I know that they'll stick to each other. I hope that you can see right there in the middle so you see how they're kind of apart like that. So then I can just put them together like this and it looks like they are pretty much touching each other as good as they can right now. Now I'm gonna come over to the filament connector itself. I'm gonna lift up this plastic part and then down here, this is where the hot stuff happens. So I'm just gonna press this to make this latch come up. And then on the inside, you can see that there's a little metal portion in the middle and that's where I'm going to want to put the plastic piece. And I got to make sure that the middle part where the two filaments are connected is right there in the middle. Then I'm going to close this down and it's going to take a few seconds to fuse them together. So let me just make sure that's lined up, push this down. Then I'm going to grab both of these in and just kind of push them towards each other a little bit to make sure that there is a good bond. And then it beeps when it's done. So when it's done, just push this, let this open up, take this out. There was a fly on my hand. I'll take care of him later. And we're just going to let this cool for a few seconds, about five to 10 seconds. Let it get nice and cool. 
And then at this point, we can just turn this off for safety reasons. We can close this down. And then we can look at this part back here. And this is where we're gonna cut this little uh, plastic connector piece. So I'm gonna put this in here and then make sure that the ends of the filament that are closest to this plastic part are clipped in. You'll be able to hear it clip just like that. And then this piece right here is gonna go down and you basically just squeeze it down and it's going to pierce the little plastic connector piece that we used to fuse the two filaments together. It's not gonna snap or anything, it's just going to pierce it. So now we can take this off and I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little slit right there where this plastic piece was cut and I can dig my finger in there and just tear apart this plastic piece and just remove it. And now you can see that these two pieces of filament are now fused together. They're not gonna come apart. It's a nice clean fusion. So here is my little strand here. And as you just saw, it's really easy to fuse these two filaments together and it's solid. It is not going to come apart. And like I said, this little sample came from this Sunlu PLA Plus 2.0 in white and orange as well. So that's just one example. But I tried it on some other filaments as well. So you know how if you get a new 3D printer, sometimes it comes with a little sample bit of filament, but it's usually not on a spool. I have a few of those lying around one from flash forge and another one from probably like an elegoo printer in white and i decided to fuse those two together so i have this is the flash forge filament which looks really cool is this sort of blue purple sparkly gradient filament and i fused it and you can see where i did it right here with this regular white filament so now instead of having a bunch of these little sample uh, non-spooled rolls lying around i can just combine them all together like this but when i got the 5m pro it came with that same filament on a spool. So what I can do is take some more of this sample filament that I cut up because the first time I tried to use it, it became really, really tangled. And that is the filament that came with the 5M. I can fuse this to this and then just roll it around. And then this roll here will have more to work with. And you remember in the beginning when I had the red filament and the blue filament, that's exactly what I did. I fused the red PLA and the blue PLA together. And then I rolled the blue PLA onto the red PLA's roll. And I decided to print a model with that so that you can see the color transition. And I came out with this. This is a little pixel uh, figure of Link from the Legend of Zelda video game series. And as you can see, the red and blue fused filament made its way through all the tubes. And when it finally came out of the print head, it was a nice smooth transition. There were no clogs. It didn't slow anything down. There wasn't any weirdness going on. It just printed as normal. So it started off with the blue layers and then it transitioned to red right around 75%. And this is how it came out. So that's a little dual color transition filament for you in that regard. But those are just a few of the examples of things that you can do with the Sunlu filament connector. You'll be able to take this and make better use of your little scrap filaments that you would probably otherwise just throw away because you can't really find too much of a good use for it. But with this, you can give it new life. Now, like I said, once I figure out what the price is going to be, I'll either put it on the screen or I will put it down in the description so that you can see it there. And once again, thank you, Sun Lu, for sending this to me so that I can check it out. I think it's a pretty nifty device. So let me know what you think of it. And if this is something that you would like to add to your 3D printing arsenal. Let me know down in the comments. I'd be really curious to know, but that is it for now. So thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.